Please listen to my interview with an MDS patient, Ted Dorf. I uh, was on a, uh, a yearly physical examination uh, program, and in numerous years, I, uh, the blood results came back to my physician. Uh, they showed a, a mild case of anemia, borderline. They used the term borderline anemia. And uh, would always say to me, well, Ted, let's see what next year I can do. Uh, he didn't want to give me any medications because he thought something, I guess in his mind, he thought something was going on. But he wanted to see if it would manifest itself to grow. So, uh, Probably this was the onset of the myeloid dysplasia, but we didn't know at the time. He didn't do any tests to determine it. Maybe there were no tests around to determine it. Eventually, though, uh, the situation got a little worse, and I fainted. And they took me to the hospital and uh, my wife was walking in with me and I fainted flat out on the floor. Actually I slipped my skull and I needed some stitches. And, uh, and they did some battery of tests that involved and figured that I had the violence. Back, I guess I've lived with MDS since 2003. No, my wife is shaking her head. No, she says 2000. Never heard of it. Didn't know it even existed. Well, it's an interesting question oh, there. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Life is not the same. Life is never the same. It's never the same. Has it diminished? I wouldn't say it's diminished, but it's changed. I have to now live with this disease. And uh, however, I, I am able to accomplish everything I set out to do. I just have to do things in moderation, and I have to realize that uh, I have the disease and I need constant treatment, but the treatments can be handled in a judicious manner, and I've learned to live with it, and uh, I'm experiencing life and enjoying life. modified my lifestyle to some degree, but it has not destroyed my lifestyle. I still have a very active lifestyle and I participate in many things and uh, I just have to do it in moderation. Undoubtedly, you should do that. I mean, it, it, it's, you're self-destructing yourself if you have some forms of symptoms that are creating a problem with your living in today's world and you just ignore them and move on without them. You're not doing yourself or your family or your friends or anybody else any, any justice. You should look what, try to find out what's wrong and then Acknowledge whatever it is and uh, move forward and try to uh, handle it whatever way you do. mentioned credits failed to express my gratitude to everyone who contributed.
Thanks to all of you. Thanks for watching.